Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial we will study about how we can convert a finite automata to regular expression by using Adams theorem. Now by converting finite automata to regular expression by Adams theorem, we mean finding a regular expression for a given finite automata which represents its language by using Adams theorem. If we want to find regular expression for a given finite automata which represents its language by using Adams theorem then that finite automata should not have any empty transitions now see suppose this is a finite automata whose initial state is q0 and its final states are q1 and q2 now what we have to do we have to find the regular expression which represents its language by using Adams theorem right that means we have to find the regular expression for this finite automata which represents the set of those strings which drives this finite automata from its initial state to any one of its final state so what we have done we have associated a regular expression with each state of this finite automata Q0 is associated with state Q0. Regular expression Q1 is associated with state Q1. Regular expression Q2 is associated with state Q2. Now, what these re regular expressions signifies? QI is the set, is a regular expression. Here, QI is the regular expression which represents the set of those strings which drives the finite automata from its initial state to qi state right now see this regular expression q1 now when the machine is in a state q0 on reading an input symbol it jumps to state q1 right here q0 is a regular expression which represents the set of those strings which drives the machine from initial state to q0 state here q0 is uh, the initial state so when the strings of regular expression q0 is concatenated with input symbol 0 then that string will drive the machine from its initial state to q1 state so we can say q1 so, the regular expression Q00 represents the set of strings which drives the machine from initial state to Q1 state. Similarly, see, when the machine is in Q2 state and it reads input symbol 0, then it jumps to Q1 state. Now, when the strings of regular expressions q2 are concatenated with input symbol 0 then the strings which we get after concatenation will be the strings which will drive the finite automata from its initial state to q1 state because the strings of uh, regular expression q2 drives the finite automata from its initial state to q2 state right so similarly in case of uh, when the finite automata is in state q1 and it reads an input symbol 1 it jumps to state q1 right so q11 this regular expression also represents the set of strings which drives the machine from initial state to q1 state. So q1 equals to q0 0 plus q11 plus q2 0. Now see this initial state q0. Now see regular expression empty also represents the set of strings which drives the machine from initial state to q0 state because q0 is the initial state of this finite automata so even if we don't apply an input symbol machine will stay in 
give zero state. It means without reading any input symbol, machine will jump from its initial state to Q0 state. Now see, when the machine is in Q1 state, right, and it reads an input symbol 1, it will jump to Q0 state. So, the regular expression Q1 represents the set of all strings which drives the machine from initial state to Q1. When the strings of this expression Q1 are concatenated with input symbol 1, then the strings which we get after concatenation will be those which drives the machine from Q0 state, from a Q0 initial state to Q0 state. Right. So similarly, Q2 will be equal to Q10, Q0 equals to empty plus Q00 plus Q11. Now see, here in this finite automaton, there are two final states, Q1 and Q2. So its language, language of this finite automaton will be represented by the regular expression q1 plus q2 right because q1 regular expression represents the set of all strings which will drive the finite automata from its initial state to final state q1 and q2 will represent the set of all strings which did drive the finite automata from its initial state q0 to final state q2 so the language of finite automata can be represented by this regular expression q1 plus q2 now see what is the Arden's theorem if p q and r are regular expressions and p doesn't contain empty string and r equals to q plus r p then r equals to q p clean right now we have three equations what we have to do we have to find the value of regular expression q1 plus q2 in terms of input symbols 0 and 1 so what will we do we will solve these equations by repeated substitution and by using Arden's theorem so what will we do first see q2 equals to q10 so what will we do? We will put the value of Q2 in equation Q1. So when we put this value of Q2, Q2 equals to Q10. It means when we replace this Q2 in this equation by Q10. Then the equation will become like this. Q1 equals to Q00 plus Q11 plus Q100. Now take Q1 common in these two expressions right when we take q1 common then it will become q0 0 plus q1 1 plus 0 0 now we can apply Adams theorem here by applying Adams theorem we will get q1 equals to q0 0 1 plus 0 0 clean right now put this value of q1 in this equation q0 means replace this q1 by the right hand side of this equation right so when we put this value of q1 in this regular expression then what will we get we will get q0 equals to empty plus q0 0 plus q0 0 right q0 0 1 plus 0 0 clean and 1 right now 
we can take q0 common in these two expression when we take q0 common we will get empty plus q0 in bracket there will be 0 plus 0 1 plus 0 0 clean 1 now see by applying adder's theorem what will we get we will get q0 equals to empty string in bracket 0 plus 0 in bracket 1 plus 0 0 clean 1 clean right now since empty and con when empty string is concatenated with regular expression r then it is equivalent to regular expression r so it will be equal to regular expression 0 plus 0 1 plus 0 0 clean 1 and the whole thing right now put this value of q0 in this equation q1 right when we put this value of q0 after removing this uh, empty string right in this q1 what will we get we will get this expression q1 equals to 0 plus 0 1 plus 0 0 clean 1 1 clean 0 1 plus 0 0 clean now put this value of q1 in q2 q2 equals to q10 so what will be the q2 q2 equals to this value and then 0 right now see we have to find q1 plus q2 when we add q1 plus q2 uh, when we find q1 plus q2 then what will happen this portion is common in uh, this expression is common in both regular expression so when we take this common what will we get inside the bracket empty plus zero so q1 plus q2 will be equal to this regular expression and this is the required regular expression for the given finite automata. Thank you very much.